today on Alaskan Ballistics, 300 Winchester Magnum with Barnes 130 grain tipped TSX. Great bullet, great caliber. Let's see how fast we can get it. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to check our Patreon page, like, share, and subscribe if you feel like we've earned it. Go over to our MeWe page for the links and the affiliate links, as well as our arms directory page for that as well. T-shirts in the description below. Today we loaded up some 130 grain Barnes TTSX, and we loaded with Hodgson 4350, a near max charge. We are going to shoot it out of my Weatherby 26 inch barrel first light vanguard first light great rifle here's a look at the round you can see right there great round brand new nosler brass first we will chronograph this then we will do a nice little redneck science test with some baloney a uh, two by ten and a bunch of water jugs to see how it works here we go barnes 130 grain ttsx 300 winchester magnum we already know it'll go through a level three plus steel plate pretty easily so let's see where how it does here 647. Again, I have a longer barrel than what the specs are for the load, so I think it's loaded with H4350. Yeah, 3627. Fifty-three. my scope clap fell off <laughs> it does that 3653 so between uh, just a little bit under 30 foot spread not too shabby and that's pretty fast check out the add up slide then we'll do the penetration test so here is our add up slide as I call it you can definitely read the numbers for yourself pretty decent standard deviation not the best but not the worst Good foot pounds of energy i like it when it has more foot pounds of energy than it does speed that's what happens with fast moderate weight bullets all right here we go 130 grain tip tsx barnes 300 wind mag last light of the day here we are it's going so fast i think it's gonna end up shedding its petals and just penetrating the core that's what these things typically do let's see let's see if i'm right I think that's what it did. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find it. All right, looks like we had good straight line penetration. Uh, we had nine jugs here. We are down to I hear something rolling around in here. Let's see what we got rolling around in here. See that? What did I tell you was going to happen? It's going so fast, it's going to lose its petals and expand and explode everything, but penetrate deeply. <laughs> All but these last two jugs. So, I wonder if the petals are in the other jugs. Went straight through the middle of the board. Went straight to the middle. Yeah, no petals in that jug. They must have spread earlier. Let's see if we've got any petals. Yeah, right down the middle on the jugs. It was a good shot. That's what these things tend to do. Barnes TTSX will shed its petals, and we did not find any of the petals this time. God knows where they went. <laughs> Only God knows. So that's that. So with the petals being gone, we only got 77.3 grains in the weight retention. And we got 0.373 at the top of the little mushroom expansion. Well, we got great energy distribution throughout the target and deep penetration. You can't beat that 
great caribou, whitetail, black bear load. Not sure I'd go heavier than caribou or black bear, but maybe, I mean, wouldn't want to be a moose hit by it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments, what would you use this particular round for? Very fun load, just a good hand load that I just wanted to try out for fun. So again, let me know what you think. Don't forget all of our affiliate links on MeWe. And don't forget our Patreon page as well. We're also on the arms directory and the jump. Facebook and Instagram, of course, if you want to message us. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.